All right, so this is my second day using my Oyama rice cooker I got at Goodwill. This was a really good deal. Uh, I've seen them online for up to $70, and I picked this up for $9. Uh, I did my first batch of brown rice right here. It's a short grain brown rice I get from Whole Foods. It's organic. This is a really nutty, chewy rice. I really like it. Uh, and plus, it's brown rice, so it has all the fiber still as part of the rice grain. So today what I was thinking was I wanted to experiment cooking some other items in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these lentils and I'm going to add them to the rice because I think these take about the same amount of time as the rice. So these will come out pretty good. And if they fall apart, that's fine. The, um, the product will still be in the rice mixed in with the rice. And then at the very end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some frozen peas and uh, and stir in some of these Turkish spices. Now, I might add the Turkish spices at the very beginning, but I'm just going to add just a little bit because I don't want my whole apartment to smell like turkey land. Um. <laughs> turkey land. <laughs> I mean turkey. <laughs> And uh, maybe on another occasion, I'll try some quinoa, okay? But uh, I might go to Aldi too and get some more vegetables. Um, I had seen some recipes online for uh, adding meats and stuff like that and oil in here. But I'm going to avoid using any oils or any meats because I don't want to have the greasiness on the, on the unit as well as accumulate after multiple uses on the walls or in the kitchen or anything like that. I have a very small kitchen. There's my little kitchen right there, okay? So I basically, I'm using this in my living space, so it's right across the, from my bed. So anyways, let me put this on pause. I'm gonna add the ingredients, wash the ingredients, and then uh, I'll get back to this, okay? Okay, so I've washed the rice and the lentils, added a little bit of sea salt, and that's it. So the ratios, I used one cup of, here, let me show you what I used. I use a little Pyrex dish here. It's one cup, but I don't fill it up completely. So, but I'd say it's still about a cup, okay? So back to the ratios. The ratio is one cup of lentils, one cup of brown rice, and four cups of liquid. And then, the unit is already warmed up. I'm just gonna sit that right in there like that. And I have never done this before, so I don't know. I know that I, when I cook lentils on the stove, I do think they boil over. I do think so, but so does the rice. But I was really surprised that this had no boil over whatsoever. And uh, it's very neat, actually. I, I was, I mean, well, on this occasion, last night's occasion, it was pretty neat. So. Let's, uh, let's close this up and see what happens. Make sure that's locked. Okay, that's locked. And we'll go for, it'll go from warm, which is, it, it, as soon as you plug it in, it automatically sits on warm. You don't even have to hit a button, which I didn't notice, which is, I'm glad I noticed that because I wouldn't want to leave that on by accident. Now we're going to cook. And this, it seems to me that this has an automatic 40 minute setting for rice. Okay. No matter how much rice you put in there, 40 minutes or approximately 40 minutes, 38, 39, 40 minutes, something like that. Um, I guess I could time it today. So I'll be back later. Okay. Okay. So the timer just went off and the timer I set on my phone pretty much correlates with the settings of this pressure cooker or pardon me, the rice cooker. So it's 40 minutes, I would say, 40 minute setting. Uh, it's now switched over to warm and the steam has stopped coming out or you might still see the stream of steam coming up a little bit here. So we're gonna open this up. Remember, always be careful when opening up anything with steam. Keep your hands, arms, especially the lower arms, away from the steam. There goes the steam. Oh my word. I do not think I will be flipping this appliance. This is really beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. Keep the steam in there. Okay, and I'm going to add my Turkish, Turkish spices 
and my uh, frozen peas. And the steam at warm setting will cook those peas, or actually just defrost them and cook them gently. I don't like them overcooked. I see a lot of people that use, have used these appliances for cooking their vegetables in it, and they're cooking them for 40 minutes, and the broccoli comes out like lawn clippings after about a week under the lawnmower. So overcooked. So this is about one teaspoon of Turkish spices. We might add a little bit more. Yeah, let's add a little bit more. Let's go to about one and a half teaspoons. So it did stick a little on the bottom. I just noticed that as I stirred the other ingredients around. So I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water, okay? So this is my brown rice and lentils with peas and Turkish spices. I made this in the uh, rice cooker and this is really, really incredible. I, it's not perfect, but I don't like perfection. I kinda like things that kinda leave you to they're just about perfect. And this is just about perfect. Um, the rice is chewy and nutty, just the way I like it. Not overcooked. And it's separate. And the lentils cook nicely. They're not overcooked. They didn't fall apart. You can see. You can see the lentils there. Whole. And at the end, I added the Turkish spices and the peas. The peas are nice and plump. They're bright green. Uh, maybe they overcooked by about 30 seconds to a minute, but I didn't have it turned on. It was just on warm setting. So just the very heat and steam from the rice is what cooked it. Uh, they're very tasty. They're not overcooked. The spices blended in nicely. The house doesn't smell like spices. So I'm fine with putting the spices in at the end and then letting them sit in the steam for about another 10 minutes or so. And this was the result. And I'm very, very happy with this. Very happy.